So in this video, I thought I'd go through period and amplitude of a, a sine or cosine curve. Okay, um, so the concept is that we've looked at periods, so we know that the period of a function is uh, the space over which the curve repeats itself. So if I was to draw it, well, let's just uh, let's just do it as a bog standard. Here is a curve. Okay, then this distance here over which it repeats itself is the period. So that distance there is the period of the function. The amplitude is this distance here. Okay, the distance from the top of the curve down to uh, its midline, effectively. So that is its amp amplitude. You could also say, well, that's its amplitude. Okay, it's that distance. It's the same value. So this is your amplitude. Okay, so being able to recognise uh, what the period and amplitude of a trig curve is, uh, is really down to graph transformations. So, for example, if I was asked uh, what is the period and amplitude of the curve with equation y is equal to 3 sine um, of, let's say, 2x, okay, then I know that this is a curve that has been stretched parallel to the x-axis, factor 1 half. Now, sine, the sine curve... Uh, traditionally has a period of 360 degrees, okay, or in radians, 2 pi. So if you were looking at this in degrees, then its period would be from the 360, because it's been stretched factor a half, parallel to the x-axis, would now have a period of half as much. And so we'd be looking at 180 degrees. Its amplitude is governed by this multiplier, this number on the front. So the fact that we've got this 3 means it's been stretched factor 3 parallel to the y-axis. This is a curve that is now going between minus 3 to 3. Minus 3 to 3. So if this is the 0 line, then it's going from 0 to 3. That is the amplitude. So the amplitude would be 3. And so it is the magnitude of this number on the front of your trig curve. And this would be the same for cosine as well. Okay, Sine or cosine, if you had to identify period and amplitude, you would do it in the same way. 